Okay, can I ask you, are you happy with the numbers so far that have signed up for the, uh, the household charge? Well, I can see that the momentum is with the household charge payment, and I'm delighted that so many people over the last 48 hours have seen that it is very important to have local services delivered by local contributions, uh, and it is a fundamental change to the thinking in which we have to do in terms of financing local government. Uh, and I uh, would want to encourage people that whoever has left uh, the farm one side or have yet to uh, contribute online or through the local authority or through on post by postal order, that they will do so by the end of business tomorrow evening on Saturday evening because I think most people want to comply with the law. Are you just still below the 50% so far away from the 1.6 million tomorrow? I never contemplate disappointment. I think it's great to see so many people wishing to comply with the law in spite of all the propagation and intimidation. And at this stage, have you any message for those who are not prepared? Sorry? At this stage, have you any message for those who are not prepared to pay? What I would say to people is that this country is in a very serious financial situation. And it has been that way for a, a period of time. This is the, a condition attached to complying with the EU IMF agreement, who ultimately are the people that are paying for the for public services. We have 18 billion of a gap between income and expenditure. The money has to come from somewhere. And in spite of the difficulties that people are going through at the moment personally, I think it's a great tribute to the Irish people that they're working in community solidarity with the government to get us out of this mess as quickly as possible and pay for local services by making their contribution locally. But two thirds of the market. Thank uh, you very Mr. much, Juno. Thank you very much. Nobody wants to break the law. But two thirds of the market.